Image carousels are an excellent way to showcase multiple images at once in an attractive slider gallery, but it's often hard to find a tool that's both powerful and easy to use if you're a beginner. In this video, I will show you how to create a WordPress image carousel for landing pages in minutes. This video is brought to you by Seedprod, the number one landing page builder for WordPress with over 1 million users. It features a drag and drop page editor that makes creating pages quick and easy for everyone. Please subscribe to the channel for more videos and to learn how Seedprod can help create amazing landing pages for you. So the first thing you want to do is come over to your WordPress dashboard and we're going to be installing Seedprod. So you can head over to seedprod.com or you can click the link in the description. So once you're over here, you can hit get Seedprod and create an account here. I'm going to be using the pro version. After you have an account, let's go ahead and click on login. Enter your email address and password on the left hand side. Next, let's go into the downloads tab and go ahead and download the landing page pro plugin. On the bottom left hand side here, you'll see your license key. You can click the icon here to copy that. Let's go ahead and close this window and let's head over to plugins and add new and let's go up to upload plugin and you can actually just drag this zip file right here or you can choose a file on your hard drive to select the zip file. Let's go ahead and install now and activate plugin. Let's go ahead and paste your license key right in here and click verify key. You should see a green success message. If you're using the same browser or similar, you can go ahead and close this little tab at the bottom and next let's head over to seedprod and then pages. So we're going to be adding a image carousel block to a landing page. So let's first go ahead and create a new landing page. So Seedprod is going to ask you to choose a new page template. And we have these filters that you can filter the templates by for type, or you can search, or you can create one from scratch if you like. I'm going to just put in a keyword here called travel, and we're going to use this template right here. You can preview it first, or you can just import it by clicking the check mark. Now you can give it a name, whatever makes sense for you. And I'm going to save and start editing the page. And there we go, we just imported a brand new template for our landing page. And now we can fully customize it in the page builder. So on the right hand side, we have all of our blocks and elements. So we have blocks and we have sections and we have rows and columns. On the left hand side, we have all of the standard blocks, advanced blocks and WooCommerce blocks. These are grayed out because we don't have WooCommerce installed right now. And you can just simply drag and drop all of these blocks onto your page. And each type of block, if you click the cog wheel here for block settings, have their own set of options that you can change and customize. So usually you'll see content, templates and advance. So for example, this image has a templates tab here. So under content, it has some basic options that you can change the main options and templates are pre-made styles that come with seed prod. So for example, in the image, you can add a white border around it, maybe a drop shadow, etc. Under the advanced tab, you have more advanced options to do certain things with that specific block. To get back to all the blocks, you can just click the blocks icon right here. And then to customize your page, you can just click on the blocks and add new content. If you wanted to get rid of this image or replace it, you could just select it. And the image is right here. So you can click and select one from your media library if you have one uploaded. With Seedprod, you can also use a stock image. So we can click here and you can run a search here. So let's say travel. And you have all of these fantastic images that you can import quickly and easily into your page. So for me, I'm going to delete this whole block right here. And I'm gonna come down under advanced and look for image carousel. And here we can just in seconds add this into our page and click the block settings. And now we have image one here under carousel images. So if I click on this, you'll see the image and then a caption that we can add. If you click again, this will close. And if you want to add another one, you can duplicate this one or you can add new images by clicking here. Delete, you can click the delete button and now you're back to one image. Down at the bottom, you have the carousel settings. So you have a dark or light mode. We can't see anything yet because we haven't added any pictures. You have auto play. So if you want it to just switch automatically or not, or if you want the surfer to just manually change it with the navigation. We also have the autoplay speed. So this is how many seconds it'll switch between each image. And if you want to show the caption or not, right? So you can add a caption to each page right here. And if you want that to show, you can turn that on. And lastly, we have the caption align. So if it's not going the full width of your page, you can align left, middle, or right. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a first image and I'm just going to use stock images. So use a stock photo. So I'm just gonna do a search for beach and this looks like a nice image. So I'll import that one here. And for caption, I'll just put something like a beautiful beach and that's good for this one. I'm going to add another image and use a stock image. And I just did a search for beach again and I'll just find a second image. So there we go. And I'll just go ahead and add one more. So there we go. We have three different images and you can see we have some controls here now. So if we come back to the carousel settings, if I switch to light, you can't see them because the page is on a light background with light controls. 
So let's go actually head down to the left hand side here to global settings. I just want to show you this. And here you can edit all of your fonts, all of your colors and your background for your whole page here. So for fonts, let me just pick a random header font. You can see that this is updated. And if I come down and pick a random body text font, you can see that all of that is updated as well. If you need help picking fonts, you can click font themes and go through and pick one that makes sense for you that you think looks good. So I'll pick this one and you can see how the fonts updated instantly. If we close this and go to colors, same thing with the colors here. We have headers, text, buttons, links, and background. And same thing as the fonts. If you're not sure what to pick, you can go on color palettes and then find one that you like. So we could go with maybe the blue purple look and you can see that everything turned to dark purple. The background's like a light blue and the button here has changed as well. And then you can fine tune these if you wish. So background, maybe I could go something darker. And then this is where you would use those light controls. So if I click on the block settings here, go to carousel settings and light, you can see now that those are standing out on the darker background. Now, if you don't like something, you can always undo this in seed prod. And now I'm back to the lighter background and my darker controls. Now I don't have the captions on. Let's go ahead and show those. And I'm just going to center this. If we go under templates, we could add maybe a drop shadow. So there's a drop shadow effect here. And then we can go under advanced settings here. So we have the caption topography and the color. So we can edit the topography here. And maybe we can put a little bit of a line height. So there's some spacing there. So you can see there's some extra space between the caption and the navigation and the picture and we could increase maybe the font size here as well and maybe bold that if you like if, you, if you're not sure about the color you could even change that to something different that makes sense and here we have the slider image style so you have a drop shadow which we already added under the templates here but you could change how much of a drop shadow is on there you can also add an image border if you like or add rounded corners if you want that effect down here, we have some spacing, so you can add a top margin to the top if you need some spacing between these two blocks. On the bottom right hand side here of the sidebar, we can go on to mobile preview and here you can see what it looks like on mobile devices. To switch back, we just click desktop preview again. Once you're happy with everything, let's go ahead and save the page. And I just want to show you page settings. So if you come under here, we have general SEO analytics scripts and custom domain. So under general here, we have the page title. So you can change that the page URL. You have the page status from draft or publish. I always publish the page from this little drop down right here, though. You can add a seed prod link. So it'll say powered by seed prod in the bottom right hand corner of your page. And if you like, you can join the affiliate program to make 20% commission off any sales that you may refer to us. We also have an isolation mode. If you're having some type of conflict with your theme or other plugins, you can activate this as well. If you need your Facebook app ID, you can paste that right in here. For SEO, we highly recommend All-in-One SEO for all your search engine optimization needs, which is a fantastic plugin and works great with SeedProd. And same thing for analytics. Monster Insights is incredible, and you should check this out if you want to have an analytics plugin into your landing pages, which you definitely should. If you need to paste anything into your header, body, or footer, we can do so on this page. And custom domain is used to hook up a domain name to a specific landing page. If you're interested in this, you can click here to learn more about that feature in the documentation. So let's go ahead and save this again. And let's just publish the page here and let's see the live page. And there we go. We can see our image carousel. This is built into our landing page. And if we click through, we can see the three images that I used with the caption and everything seems to be working perfectly. Now that you know how to create a WordPress image carousel for landing pages, maybe you would like to check out this video on how to create a simple landing page in WordPress. This video will help you learn the basics of creating high converting landing pages for your website and business. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.